Hey everybody, how you guys doing today? My name is Nick, otherwise known here as Valence, and welcome to my video on ESO covering the werewolf transformation, where to find werewolves, and how the whole process works. So you guys know if you watch my Skyrim videos around two years ago at this point, that I'm a huge proponent fan of the werewolf. My werewolf guide that I did for Skyrim is actually still my most popular video on YouTube today. So naturally, when Elder Scrolls Online came out, and I found out that we could be werewolves, I was extremely excited. So basically, I spent my weekend trying to figure out how this works. And since the game is new, just came out last week, and a lot of details are being unraveled, werewolves and vampires, they're one of those secrets, right? So over the weekend, I figured it out. I haven't fully completed the quest line because I'm not high level enough, but I did figure it out for the Ebon Heart Pact. Now, there's a lot of different forum posts out there. There's a lot of people that are lying straight to your face, and that's why I wanted to make this video because this is a confirmed way, and you guys saw at the very beginning of the video that I am a wolf. It does exist, uh, just to go ahead and give you that proof. And I wanted to go ahead and lay it out online because I spent a long time this weekend. I actually spent two whole nights searching before I found out you needed to have a full moon before the werewolves would appear. And there's plenty of trolls in ESO. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. I'll tell you guys where I found the werewolf and kind of what my journey was. Now, I do want to go ahead and put a disclaimer out there that this is for the werewolf only. This is for werewolves. So I do not know the vampires yet, although I know it's similar to this process. I'm not a vampire person. But if you guys know information about the vampires and want to share it in the comments below, or if I do make a character that is a vampire, I will be sure to post another video letting you guys know what's going on there. So my quest to become a werewolf started on Saturday evening, and I actually sat through the entire night, which is the footage you're seeing here, looking for werewolves in the rift. Now, werewolves are located in the higher level zones. There's three ways to basically obtain or be scratched by a werewolf. Now, one and the most reliable, the one that I actually can confirm in this video and what I'm sharing with you guys today, is finding it in the high level areas so werewolves will spawn during the full moon in the higher level areas and if you get scratched by them that means if you get killed if you get touched anything of that nature you will be infected with the disease and then it will unlock a quest that allows you to do that now i'm part of the ebon heart pact so i went up to the rift got the zone and started doing some werewolf hunting you can see i'm in a huge group here but on saturday night there's not something that i realize and that is that there is a full moon cycle so the moon cycles actually change every night shift which is around every four to five hours in game it goes between day and night and day and night and then that lasts for a little while and you'll notice here that the full moon is not present in this part and that was my one mistake so i spent all my night saturday night in a giant group looking for werewolves when there clearly were none because it wasn't the full moon now, the full moon came around on uh, Sunday night, and that's where I actually was able to be infected with the werewolf disease, right? Now, one thing that's really crazy here is there's a lot of trolls, right? A lot of trolls are going to be calling out werewolf locations here, there, everywhere. And I recommend that you go with a couple guildies or friends and try to find a, sp uh, a position, a spot, right? Now, they'll spawn in groups of two. They spawn in groups of two wolves all around the map. And the location that I'm going to share with you guys tonight is where I got infected. I do not know if it's a confirmed spawn point. Again, I do not know if most of this is confirmed because the game is fairly new. There's a lot of people out there trolling, and that is exactly what they want to do. Now, what I wanted to do, because I'm a giant werewolf fanatic, uh, especially in Skyrim and in the Elder Scrolls, is give you guys a video with information from my process, how I did it, and that's exactly what I'm trying to do here. Now, going back into the location, I was able to find a werewolf location in the northwestern side of the rift. And when I found it, all I did, walked up, got hit got the disease done it is that simple now after you have the disease there's a quest line that you'll do but for sake of you know spoilers and stuff i'm not going to share the whole quest line i showed a little clip at the beginning to prove that i am a werewolf right and that it goes into there but i'm not going to show the completed quest line or anything of that nature because i personally haven't completed it yet it is a high level quest it's level 38 uh round you can probably do it around level 30 31 because it is a solo quest so it's a little rough being level 20 at the time uh since what is it uh sunday night i've leveled up to rank 26 and i'm going to try to keep going up and get that werewolf uh perk done now as a werewolf it becomes your ultimate ability that's the key thing there you can transform after your ultimate's charged and then you use it as much as you want but it functions similar to skyrim whereas it only lasts for a certain duration and you can increase that duration uh, by building up the trees or anything of that nature so 
After becoming a werewolf, you will go to a quest line. The one in the Ebonheart Pact is in Riften. It's the second house north of the Way Shrine. You'll see a woman there, and she'll send you off to the Pack Master, and you'll enter the Realm of Heresian and gain your werewolf ability. And that's essentially it. Uh, that's the big part of it. It's not hard. Again, you guys see this spot on the northwestern side of the map. Uh, this is where I got infected, and next time there is a full moon, I recommend you guys going and trying to find it there, right? That's where I found mine. There are other locations around the map, and based on what I know, they do dynamically change. There's a couple things I want to go ahead and debunk in this video, though, uh, at least things that I can't confirm. So a lot of people said that you were able to become a werewolf via a quest in Mournhold for the Ebonheart Pact that has werewolves attacking the city. You have to fight off waves of them and stuff of that nature. Now, in Mournhold, I have actually completed the entire Deshaun area for the most part, and I have not run into this quest. So I don't know if this quest is legitimate, but in all honesty, if you're in the Ebonheart Pact, head up to the Rift and try to make sure that works. Now, as far as the other two groups, there are some lower level werewolves in the Daggerfall Covenant area around level four. So far as I know, these can also not infect you. I don't know why it's only limited to some werewolves, but it seems like it's stuck on the higher level zones. Now, as far as the zones go, the Ebonheart Pact will find them in the Rift. This is the only confirmed area. And then there's Deshaun, uh, the people who've spotted him via quest, but no one has really been able to confirm that on the forums. Uh, for the Altmary Dominion, it's in Reaper's March. Those are areas to the north northeast of Reaper's March. For the Daggerfall Covenant, it is in Bancora and areas in the east. So that's the big thing. Now... I want to go ahead and debug something to you guys so you can avoid trolling. There's a lot of trolling in this game, a lot of scamming at the moment, and that's really why I'm putting out this video. Now, when it comes to the werewolf and the vampire thing, they've made it mysterious, they've made it difficult to figure out, and, you know, it's been great because a lot of players have grouped together to try to figure it out, understand what's going on, and when we finally did, we were really excited. Now, this the werewolf thing only happens, like I said, during the full moon, which occurs once a week, roughly. Uh, the full moon will be out for one to two nights, so you'll have about a day to complete your getting your werewolf bite, although the quest does stick, so the quest is not ruined after that day. Now, one thing that people will do is claim that they can turn you into a werewolf or a vampire. This claim is legitimate, but I want to make sure you guys are aware that they are scamming you. They are scamming you. Nine out of ten times based on forum posts as well as guildies who have actually paid people to do this for them. Uh, people are paying for werewolf bites. These go from anywhere I've seen 20 to 50k for a bite. And what a player can do is after they reach rank 6 in the werewolf and or vampire tree, they can bite you and start a disease for you. And then, ba-boom, you'll become a vampire or a werewolf from that player bite. Now, this can only be by, done by one player once a week after they've hit level 6 at specific, uh, specific ritual sites. I personally haven't found these ritual sites. I do not know where they are. But if I do, I'll be sure to throw an annotation or make a separate video about it. So, be warned. People selling bites, probably not legitimate. But anyway, guys, I mean, I honestly think that's going to cover it here. Uh, I still haven't been able to complete the werewolf quest, so I can't talk about the abilities yet because I am so low level at this point. But after I do and get my werewolf ultimate and everything, I'll be sure to release a video talking about that. So I just want to put this out there because... People are getting trolled. That's what's hurting me. I don't want to see people get trolled, have their money scammed out of them and stuff. But that's the reality of an MMO, right? So hopefully you'll be able to find a werewolf at this location during the next full moon. I've gone ahead and posted a couple help, uh, a couple rather helpful forum posts that helped me figure this out in the description below this video, and there are ongoing discussions about it. But I really appreciate how Bethesda and Zenimax really made this something that we had to uncover as players. It was like the Battlefield 4 Megalodon. It's great to have all these people working in, uh, I guess a group right to figure out what's going on here now I bet there's a few trolls but i think that's always going to happen so if you guys have any questions about the whole werewolf thing feel free to post a comment below and i will answer to the best of my abilities and if you have any other sites or zones that are confirmed please feel free to drop those in the comments and help other players out as well anyway guys that's going to do it for the video if you enjoyed it hit that like button help me out and feel free to share this video for anyone else who's interested in eso and becoming a werewolf as well as subscribe to this channel for more eso Small guides, tips, discussions, things of that nature, and more to come in the future. So my name is Avalance. Thank you guys so much for watching, and go out there and get infected.